Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched? Marukotti selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Hello everybody, just Baelish here and we are back after about a month I think, but we're actually back with a new episode of Oblivion Tales, which is the series that I do where we take a look at what the game Oblivion has to offer by a quest by quest basis, because that's exactly how we're going to do things, alright? That's just the way we're doing it. So the quest that we're doing today is called Paranoid and we're about to go looking for a guy called Glarthir that we find in Skingrad. He does sort of just run upon you, so we are just going to head in right now and hopefully he's going to be waiting for us on the other side of the door. That's my theory anyways. So Glarthir is a wood elf. A little short wood elf. And I'm going to go find him, so hang tight. There he is. Yes, I think... No. Wait. Uh, never mind. I must go now. Excuse me? Yes, I think... No. But you're whispering at me. Yes, you. We need to talk. Ah, we can't okay. talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the Great Chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Me or the Great Chapel. Okay, so I've just activated the quest and here's the little first bit of information that we've got. The quest is called Paranoia. I met a mysterious wood elf named Glarthir in Skingrad, who asked me to meet him behind the Great Chapel at midnight tonight. He won't tell me what it was about, but promised to make it worth my while. So I assume he's going to pay us in gold! So let's go to the Great Chapel and try our best not to get stabbed in the middle of the night by a random elf. Ah, you came! You're sure you weren't followed? Yes. Good. I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. All watching me. Oh, really? Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. Ooh. You like gold, don't you? I certainly do. Lots of gold. Yes. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched? Marukotti selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. Mm. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Let's help him. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? You did, but don't Let's worry about it. Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. <laughs> They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Okay, okay. Tell me more about Bernadette then, bro. Her house is almost directly across the street from mine, southwest of the Great Chapel. Coincidence? I don't think so. Definitely not crazy. Remember, Bernadette Penelis, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watching. Okay, I'm off skis. Okay, so this is Bernadette's house. So where is Glarthia's house? Okay, so this is Glarthia's house right here. So I need to hang around here and keep an eye on this bitch here at 2... No, 6 a.m. He said. 6 a.m. Okay. Are we going to see something fishy? Or are we going to see nothing at all? My bets on nothing at all. Okay, it's 8 past 6 and she is nowhere to be seen. Glarthia is stood not even near his house being completely inconspicuous. But no sign of the bitch. Oh, I've got to actually try and get inside. It's telling me to go inside, but I feel like that's not the right thing to do. Oh, that bitch. She just looked me dead in the eyes. 
me infiltrating her house and she just left. Okay, off she goes. She didn't really wait, although Glafia is right there. Is she following so Glafia? It's none of your damn business. Thank you very much. Who was that guy? Uh oh, oh. they're gonna collide. Glafia, why did you hire me to do this if you're just gonna be watching her? Hmm? Where'd she go? Well, she's just sat. Hello. She's just sat Hi here. There. Let's talk. To I'm her. Bernadette Penelis. I work for Tamika. I grow grapes for her wines. For her wines. I'm just gonna talk to her straight up about Glathir because I'm actually concerned about his well-being. Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Oh, I see how it is. Go ahead. A friend. Every little bit helps. It does, doesn't it? Now tell me about Glafir. Well, I know he's a bit odd, but I've always thought he was kind of sweet. Ah. Lately, though, he has been stranger than usual. I think maybe he's been following me. He certainly has. I see him every morning on my way to chapel. I've tried to say hello, but he always pretends not to hear me. Oh, okay. Bye. Well, I believe her. I mean... She's actually, she actually likes him, so. There's Glaf here. Fucking nutcase. See you at midnight, I guess. There we go. Now our boy Glaf here should be coming around any moment. I hear him. There he is. So, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? Hmm. Now, should we be honest? And say nothing to report. Uh, she wasn't watching or following you. Or you were right, she is following you. But I guess technically she was, so we could kind of fuck with him. Go on, let's mess with him. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Excellent work. There will be a bonus in this for you. Don't worry. Yes! What about the reward? Ah, of course. The gold. Here. Yeah. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. Alrighty. You can call me the sheriff. Tutius Sextius. Do you what know What a him? name. A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough. But I've identified him as one of my key suspects. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. Alrighty. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. Alrighty. You know, something's telling me that Tutius Sextius isn't going to be the quietest of people. You know what I'm saying? He lives in the large house between the low gate and the east bridge, alone. Suspicious, don't you think? Yes, very suspicious. Very suspicious. Definitely not crazy. Don't let Tutius Sextius catch you following him. He's much more dangerous than he looks. I bet he is dangerous when I'm following him from behind when he's tooting. Get it? Well, I found Tutius Sextius's house right here. Chapel's over there, so, you know, I guess I'll just... Sit and wait for 12 hours solid and, and say hi to him in the morning. This quest is just pure waiting. A little bird told me that you've oh. been asking around town about Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. Just curious about him. Fine. Play it that way. Let me give you some friendly advice. Glarther is crazy. Maybe harmless crazy. Maybe not. Don't get involved with him. If he asks you to do anything strange, you come see me first. Got it? Or any of the town guard. Let us handle it. Okie dokie. Um, totally not doing anything suspicious now, haha. <laughs> Dude interrupted my fucking waiting cycle. My circadian rhythm is all out of sync now. There we go. Good old lunchtime. What a perfect time to start stalking somebody. Is he going to do that thing where he's not going to come out the door until I go inside? 
Oh, he's fucking. He's left. Oh, look. Um, it's perfectly representing the weather in the UK right now. Okay, so we made it to Castle Skingrad. We're gonna hunt this guy down. Get to the bottom of what exactly the hell he thinks he's doing. Chasing small wood elves around the city. If that is the case. Oh, there he is. You're new here, or you'd know me. Oh, I would. Sextius, my people have lived in Skingrad since the dawn. Father and the Count were best of friends. I'm, I'm certain that you were... I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarther. Oh, wait, do you mean that strange wood elf that you see wandering around the city? Gives me oh. the strangest looks now that you mention it. Bye -bye. Almost like he hates me, although I have no idea why. Can you tell me a bit more? Yes, the strange wood elf who haunts the Loke Gate every morning. You said he was... Okay, so he doesn't really know. Or we'll see. does he know with a bit of money? That will get you something. Yes. No, he just straight up took my money. Told it's me that I was going to get imperial. something. What? And then... What's new with you? Just I understand no Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. Where well... Time to report back to Glarthir and tell him that he's gonna get murdered by the guy. Really fuck with him. That'd be funny, right? That'd be a cool prank. Oh dear, there's a tree on fire over there. But we'll deal with that another time. Here he is. Hello, old friend. Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. Actually, I'll be honest about him this time. So... He really is innocent, then? Interesting. Perhaps they have been using him as a decoy to draw my attention away from their real spies. Of course. What about my money? Yes, of course. Here is your precious gold. Now I need you to investigate one more person for me. How much is he actually giving me? 150 gold? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's giving me more gold than I got. For saving that guy's son in the last episode. I'm gonna have to check that. I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall. May RK guide you. Thank you. Now give me my gold. 150 gold. That can buy like three swords. Do you know David Surly? Yes, David? of the famous Surly Vineyards. Pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? Not me. Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy. He watches my house constantly. You'll see. I'm sure I will, sir. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here at midnight as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you. <laughs> this, this poor guy's putting all of his trust in me. And I'm going up and talking to them straight away being like... The Surly house is right next paranoid. door to mine. A large house with a backyard conveniently located to observe my every move. Okie dokie. Be careful. I shall. Is this you? Is this him? Hello, sir. I'm David of Surely Brothers Vineyard. Gaston is my brother. From our vineyards come the finest wines in Tamriel. You don't look like it. You, you, I feel like you'd be dressed a lot smarter if you were making that much money. Yeah, well, in all honesty, no. But our wines are very good, and much cheaper than Tamika's very fine product, I assure you. Okay, I suppose. What about Glarthy? Concerning this, I can only speak to a f- Ah, uh, yes. We'll see. Let me just open my purse. See? Was that hard? It Hard on my bank account, yes. You may have heard that he's a bit touched in the head, and that may be true. But he's always been a quiet neighbor. Never given us any trouble. No. See, they're being so nice about him. So that's what always led me to think that they're not Bye. actually, you know, conspiring against him. But maybe I'm being too naive. You guys will have to tell me if I've been doing this whole story wrong. Because it would blow my mind if somebody commented and said they were all actually out to get him. Because every time I've done this, I've always fully believed that he is just a psychopath. And the quest is called Paranoia, so what do you expect? It's kind of a bit on the nose, don't you think? He's already waiting here. Can't you see that I'm very busy? 
Okay, jeez. I'll wait over here. Asshole. And he's still not moved. So, what did you discover about the ups? He's a very nice guy and he's not spying on you. Well then, I suppose I must believe you. At least now I can be sure. Oh, he scribbled something. Here, this is your last task. Here's the gold, as pro- He gave me 200 gold this time, that's definitely more than what I got from the fucking king. Anyway, let's go see what he's written on this piece of paper. List of death? Bernadette Pennells must be killed, there is no choice, she is definitely conspiring against me. Come back and see me and make sure you are not followed. Once it is done, I will give you your reward. I don't want to kill a nice lady. So I'm going to do what any self-respecting man would do in this situation and tell the local authorities. Where is the local authorities? Sir? What? Sir, there's going to be a murder. You have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Yes. Why? What's he done? Look. Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. Thanks for the tip. Now stand aside and let the guard do their work. Okay, I'm gonna follow you and watch. Like the dirty grass I am. I'm gonna watch from around the corner so he doesn't see me. I don't want him to be mad. Oh god! You'll never take me alive! You didn't even Yeah! What the fuck? That Oh, there, there, he's dead. You didn't even arrest him. And now you Dude! What seems to be the problem? You just killed him! Sad story. But at least we stopped him in time, thanks to you. Look at his smug ass little face. He just wanted to kill him. And now Good it's day. on me. Poor old Glarf here. Let's take his keys and his gold. Sorry! Okay, so that is the quest line Paranoia completed. I showed Glathia's note to a town guard who told me they would handle the matter from here. And they certainly did. They fucking manhandled him and murdered him. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap that up for this episode. Um, considering it's so goddamn hot in here, I need to get out of this room. And, uh, and it's not really that long of a quest anyway, but thank you for watching. And if you really liked what you saw here, please give it a like and let me know what quests you actually want to see me do um so thank you for everybody that watches my videos already I, I i love the support that you give and it honestly makes me just want to make more videos and appreciate you all so i'll see you later in the next oblivion tales Bye bye